All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I just wanted to go over the equipment that I'm working with here in these videos. Uh, what I have here is my Smith & Wesson M&P 9 Pro Series Core. This is the M&P 9L, uh, which adds about an inch to the total length of the pistol there over the full size package. Obviously, I've made a couple of modifications to this. Um, I have a Trigicon RMR. I like it just because there's you know no buttons to push. It's always on. Uh, I've had it in really dimly lit rooms, and uh, you can still see the dot. It's uh, really pretty nice. See if you can get it here. You can kind of see it. Um, I've got the uh, talon grips, which I love. It's amazing. Kind of gives a sandpaper grip. Uh, absolutely no slipping there. I have a Storm Lake barrel uh, with the threads. A TLR1 flashlight that uh, my buddy Jason got for me uh, as a wedding gift. Uh, I replaced the stock trigger, which I really didn't like. The stock trigger was a, a synthetic trigger with a, a hinge in the middle, and this one's, you know, the aircraft aluminum with a second trigger on the inside as a safety. Um, and then the only other thing was the uh, extractor I replaced with a more heavy duty extractor. And that's it for the pistol. Let's see if for the holster. I got a molded Kydex holster. Again, my buddy Jason got that for me. Uh, part of the wedding gift. I had to cut a little hole in there when I changed the barrel to the longer Storm Lake barrel with the threads on it. But uh, other than that, it's been a great holster. The magazines, I just have the uh, standard magazines. Hold 17 rounds plus the uh, extenders on the bottom. And that's about it.